The Try Guys as we know them are changing after they announced that they would be launching their very own streaming service and losing one of their remaining Try Guys. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Less than a month ago, we talked about all the drama that went down with the YouTube channel Watcher. Watcher was a group of ex-BuzzFeed employees making content on their own, and they were doing very well for themselves. That all changed when they announced that they would be leaving YouTube and posting exclusively on their own subscription-based platform called Watcher TV. They received an immense amount of backlash for up and leaving their fans who supported them throughout the years and expecting them to pay for yet another subscription. The backlash got so out of hand, they eventually had to walk back their decision, apologize, and stay on YouTube. You would think that would be a clear warning to other ex-BuzzFeed employees turned YouTubers to maybe steer clear of subscription-based platforms, but what happened to Watcher didn't scare the Try Guys. Yesterday, they announced that they would be launching their very own streaming service called Second Try. They broke the news with a video featuring Zach and Keith titled The New Try Guys. They started off the video by talking about the past 10 years that they've spent on YouTube and how grateful they are for the career they have. We've been making content on YouTube for 10 years. Very few people have the honor and privilege of doing that, and we feel yeah, we're so lucky. lucky. It has been the greatest ride of our lives, and it is all thanks to you. You are the best part of all of this. The community that we've built here, reading your comments, seeing your photos, taking pictures with you. Now, similar to Watcher, they expressed issues that they've been having with the YouTube algorithm. They talked about how things have changed and how it's become more difficult to keep up with the trends and make the type of content YouTube wants to push out. YouTube changes all the time. And as the algorithm changes, creators need to change to keep up with it. That can be anything from escalating thumbnails to fast text on screen to YouTube trying to become the next TikTok or, uh, God forbid, sad couch videos to get your attention. We would never. Lots of creators benefit from that algorithm. We have benefited from the algorithm. But as the algorithm changes, if you don't change with it, you will not get surfaced, which means you won't even see our videos on your homepage. And all this really just means that we're not always able to make the videos you tell us you love the most. These are all layers that separate us and you. And the Try Guys have talked about just wanting to keep their audience happy instead of trying to bring in a new audience by doing trends and changing their content to appeal to more people. But the thing is, they still get really good views. Most of their videos are getting at least 800,000 views, if not a million plus. Similar to Watcher, they also have a very lucrative Patreon, so I was confused about them needing to make their own platform. But we soon learn why they decided to go down this path. We can be successful on YouTube by making stuff that we and you guys don't truly love, or we can slowly fade away into irrelevancy, making cool that the algorithm doesn't care about. So with those two roads, we have been thinking about how do we pave a new one. Which is why... Instead, we're going directly to you. Wait, Zach, what do you mean? <laughs> We've thought a lot about what we want our next try to be, and we finally figured it out. Starting today, we are launching a subscription streaming service. Our shows are coming straight to you. No ads, no algorithm BS, no clickbait thumbnails, just the good stuff. Yeah. And it's gonna allow us, I'm talking you, watching, and us <laughs> to be directly connected with nothing else in the way so we can make the shows you wanna see and nothing else. Not cake. Introducing Second Try. And I know what you may be thinking. They're literally pulling a watcher. This is going to be a mess, but here's where they save themselves. Unlike Watcher, they aren't abandoning their platform. They're still gonna be posting the same content they've always posted to YouTube. The streaming service is just going to have new exclusive content. Now we're not leaving YouTube. You're still gonna get all the free stuff you're used to seeing right here. But on second try, you're gonna get early access to old favorites. Ooh, uncensored content that YouTube won't allow. Oh, exclusive new stuff just for you. Mm. It's got all your favorite Try Guys shows, plus some great new ones too. The entire back catalog with no ads. Old and future live streams that used to cost 20 bucks a ticket? 
included. And that's not all. They're also officially introducing a whole new cast. When Ned left the Try Guys, a lot of people wondered if they would officially bring on a replacement to fill Ned's spot, and they always said no. They did bring on more new people to fill the gaps, and they were a hit. People loved them, and that's why they decided to officially bring on a whole new cast of the Try Guys. They posted to Instagram and said, We always said there wouldn't be a new Try Guy, but what if there was? They then linked to an in-feed post which said, we said there would never be a fourth Try Guy because we're actually adding nine. So we have Johnny Cakes being brought on, Joyce and Miles, Quasi and Jared, who were my favorites during the Without a Recipe series, YB, and a lot more. The Try Guys is much more than just the two of us. So we are officially expanding the cast and we're gonna keep growing and working with new friends, working with new people all the time. This is more than the Try Guys. This is Second Try! So the way I'm seeing this is almost like an extension of the Try Guys. It's not like Watcher where they're saying bye to their audience and strictly posting behind some paywall. If you don't have the money to pay for yet another subscription, you can still watch their content on their YouTube channel. If I'm not mistaken, it seems like Second Try is going to be a completely different show with new people and new ideas and concepts, and it's going to be its own thing. They also cleared up some common questions being asked in their comment section. One question was, why make second try? And they said, we're going directly to you and making the shows you love the most with no algorithm to get between us. Another person asked, why not Patreon? And we all know that's been a major question. Like I said, they have a very lucrative Patreon. They have thousands of people subscribed to it. So some people have been wondering, why do you need to go and make another subscription service? They said, we love Patreon, but we needed a video app that can stream on any device. They don't support that. So we made our own. Another person and said how much money and they said it was normally $4.99 monthly but when you sign up for the year it's $3.33 and I'm guessing that's in American dollars. Another common question was will your content still be on YouTube and they said yep we're not going anywhere. All the shows you're used to will still be free and we'll be posting some episodes of our new shows too. Another question was what is on second try and they said exclusive episodes for shows like After the Menu, Escape the Kitchen, and Trolley problems. Early access to old favorites, all uncensored and ad-free, premium live streams, and more. But there is some bad news. It was announced that Eugene would officially be leaving the Try Guys. They haven't really talked about it yet. They said a video would be up Thursday, so today when you're watching this, there should be a video up from them. But they did speak with Rolling Stone, and they did reveal that he is leaving. The article reads, The group exclusively tells Rolling Stone that the upcoming season of Try Guys content will be Yang's last, as he leaves the group to pursue other creative endeavors. But the group will keep going, with an expansion into Second Try TV, a subscription-based model they hope will allow fans of the channel to gain access to more content while giving the Try Guys more space to pick what they create. And if you're a fan of the Try Guys, then this probably isn't news to you. He's hardly been in any new videos, and he's been venturing out and doing his own thing. Zach quote tweeted the Rolling Stone article, which said that they were going from a trio to a duo, and he said, Appreciate the great article. Don't agree with the headline. We're expanding to a bigger ensemble. Excited to enter into this new chapter and grateful for the ride that's brought us here. And Eugene even tweeted and he said, This cast is everything. So, so proud of these incredibly talented, beautiful people. This is a second try we always dreamed of evolving into. We have a special in-depth video coming tomorrow that will answer all of your questions about my future involvement. And today, the official announcement was made. Dear friends, well, it's my time. I've wanted to have this heart to heart with y'all for quite a while now. It is with immense gratitude and unconditional love for Zach, Keith, our partners, our staff, and all of you who have supported us that I'm announcing my official departure from the Try Guys. Now let's talk about the response. I just know before they posted this video, they were probably shaking. After how bad of a response Watcher got, I'm sure they were worried that they would get a similar reaction. They've probably been working on this for a very long time now, so you just know they must have been terrified. Although, it seems like things are going over much better for them compared to Watcher. 
Since they aren't leaving their audience and are more so doing the streaming service for new content, their fans seem to be in full support. Some of the top comments under their announcement read, Now this is how you launch a streaming service. When Watcher did this, I unsubscribed from their channel and never resubbed when they pivoted. With this video, I paused it, downloaded the app, and signed up. I'm sorry, after the Watcher controversy, this is so funny. I could only imagine how stressed it made these guys. But there are some people who aren't happy about the changes and of course wish that they would just post all their content to YouTube for free. There are so many streaming services now and it feels like every show that's popular is on a completely different platform and those fees can quickly add up. But on the bright side, at least they aren't pulling a watcher and completely leaving YouTube. They definitely went about this much better and that's clear by the response that they've been receiving. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think they went about this change much better than watcher? Will you be subscribing? Or are you sick of streaming services and think creators should just stick to platforms like YouTube? Let me know and I'll see you next time.